we are given a differential equation t dx dt equals k minus x cubed over 2x squared and we'll have to solve this differential equation they've also given us uh, some initial conditions in this differential equation we are told that uh, t is bigger than zero and k is a positive constant so we're going to use the method of uh, separating the variables so let's start now if you have a problem trying to separate the variables um, I would strongly recommend that you write this equation in a single line first that means cross multiply first so we can write it as 2x squared t dx equals k minus x cubed dt that's the first step then you need to rearrange this equation so that you get all the dx's and the x on one side and the dt and the t's on the other side so let's do that we have 2x squared again okay? we have 2x squared over k minus x cubed dx and let's move the t to the other side we will get dt over t so now when you have written your expression like this you can introduce your integration symbol here we have it good the formula that we are going to use I wrote it down for you at the top right hand corner for easy reference f prime x over fx dx is ln fx plus c so uh, you look at the denominator on the left hand side we have got minus k minus x cubed so when you differentiate that you're going to get minus 3x squared unfortunately we only have 2x squared in the numerator so let's go ahead and adjust it yeah? so I have 2x squared over k minus x cubed let's multiply top and bottom by minus 3 the right side is pretty good yeah? we can write ln t straight away yeah? don't forget the c though okay so now let's clean this up on the left hand side I have uh, minus 2 over 3 I'll have uh, minus 3x squared over k minus x cubed dx equals ln t plus c now we can do the integration on the left hand side because when you differentiate the denominator you will get minus 3x squared and we are ready to go so we can write minus 2 over 3 ln k minus x cubed equals ln t plus c okay let's go ahead and get rid of the c first uh, let's use one of the initial conditions that were given to us t equals to 1 x equals to 1 so let's plug it in okay minus 2 over 3 ln uh, 1 cube will be 1 equals ln of 1 is 0 so I'm left with c equals to minus 2 over 3 ln k minus 1 good so now let's write uh, let's rewrite our answer here okay so that we have some space and this becomes minus 2 over 3 ln k minus x cubed equals ln t minus 2 over 3 ln k minus 1 okay replacing the c here with what we have just found okay we have another initial condition t equals to 4 x equals to 2 so let's do that yeah let's plug it in so i have minus 2 over 3 ln uh, 2 cubed will be 8 uh, ln 4 minus 2 over 3 ln k minus 1 now we have to deal with a logarithmic equation and we have to solve it so let's bring this uh, minus 2 over 3 ln k minus 1 to the left so you'll get 2 over 3 ln k minus 1 minus 2 over 3 ln k minus 8 equals to ln 4 we're almost done yeah so let's take out the 2 over 3 Okay, let me write in one extra line so that it becomes clearer to you. Let's take out the 2 over 3, then we have ln k minus 1 minus ln k minus 8 equals to ln 4. Now, take the 2 over 3 to the right, we'll have ln k minus 1 minus ln k minus 8 equals to 3 over 2 ln 4 okay uh, use some properties of locks and we can write this as ln 
k minus 1 over k minus 8 equals ln 4 to the power of 3 over 2. 4 to the power of 3 over 2 will be 8, so we can replace that with ln 8. Drop the locks, we can write it as k minus 1 over k minus 8 equals to 8. This equation we can solve, okay, we can write it as k minus 1 equals to 8k minus 64. So cleaning this up, we will have, take the k to the right hand side, 8k minus k will be 7k. Bring the 64 to the left, we'll have 63. So k will be equal to, that's my dog, sorry about that. 63 divided by 7, you'll get k equals to 9. Okay, you're on. We found that k equals to 9. So let's plug in the value of k equals to 9. So we will have minus 2 over 3 ln 9 minus x cubed equals ln t minus 2 over 3. 9 minus 1 will be 8. So let's clean this up. Uh, bring the negative 2 over 3 ln 8 to the left. We can write it as 2 over 3 ln 8 minus ln 9 minus x cubed equals to ln t. Okay, all I did was I brought the negative 2 over 3 ln 8 to the left and I took the 2 over 3 outside so that now we can deal with some logs. Okay, so my next line will be ln 8 minus ln 9 minus x cubed equals 3 over 2 ln t, bringing the 2 over 3 to the right. Okay, now we can write this as ln t to the power of 3 over 2 using properties of logs. So now I can write my left hand side as 8 over 9 minus x cubed equals to ln t to the power of 3 over 2. Drop the locks, we will have 8 over 9 minus x cubed equals to t to the power of 3 over 2. Okay, now we want to make x the subject, so let's look at it here. I'll have uh, 9 minus x cubed will be equals to 8t to the power of minus 3 over 2. All I'm doing is bringing the 9 minus x cubed up and bringing the t to the power of 3 over 2 down. So you'll get 9 minus x cubed equals to 8t to the power of minus 3 over 2. So now I can write x cubed as equals to 9 minus, okay, bringing the x cubed to the right and bringing the 8t to the power of minus 3 over 2 to the left you'll get this and therefore you can write x equals to 9 minus 8 t to the power of minus 3 over 2 and you take the cube root and we are done. Okay, okay let's look at the uh, solution to the differential equation that we have obtained. Let's rewrite it as 9 minus 8 over t to the power of 3 over 2 to the power of 1 over 3. So now what happens when t gets larger and larger and larger? So as t tends to infinity, 8 over t to the power of 3 over 2 tends to 0. Yeah? As the denominator gets larger and larger and larger, you find that 8 over t to the power of 3 over 2 tends to 0. Therefore, x tends to 9 to the power of 1 over 3. And we are done.